Hey, this is Supreet and today we're going to talk about IPFS. It's a new uh, file system and uh, this is a decentralized file system. We're going to talk more about it. What is a decentralized file system? What is a centralized file system? What is the existing system and what's a you know, special feature about this file system? So meanwhile, you know, uh, you got to go to this website, ipfs.io and you would get an interface like this and this is gonna you know, uh, help you install IPFS and work with FA IPFS so you have an install section over here you have documentation section over here and before that let's discuss you know what is this IPFS now we all have heard about you know file systems traditional file systems and uh, file storage and uh, more advanced we have you know looked at uh, AWS S3 services and other cloud services, cloud storage, Google cloud storage and all. So now if you come to web 3.0, now this is a new file system called decentralized file system. And you know, uh, let me show you how it works. You know, uh, let's say you have a request made to fetch a file. So that is all location based, you know, you send your request to a specific location to fetch that resource or a file. And if it is not found enough, uh, that resource would not be found. And you know, the location says the file is not with me. So there's nothing found in, in my location, right? So you get an error. So now what happens with IPFS? So this is not a location based search. It is a content based search. <clears throat> so when you look up a file to view or download, you're asking a network to find nodes that are storing the contents behind the file hash. So, uh, you know, your f uh, file would be stored as a file hash. Now search uh, the file, you make a content based search. So although they say you don't need to remember the hash, though every file can be found by human readable names. Right. So, and how do you find this human readable names? That's called IPNS. So it's called decentralized naming system, right? So you have IPFS as a file system and that is stored in the form of, you know, hash, a file hash. And, uh, you know, you don't have to you know, do the location based search. You're going to just say, you know, uh, give me the file with specific hash or you know specific content and that specific content you don't have to remember you have to only remember the naming system and that is called decentralized naming system all right so let's see you know you have you know documentation section over here uh, let's just see the documentation section over here all right so now before that you know <clears throat> to install this you have various versions one is desktop version and one is command line install uh, and you have ipss ipfs companion as well uh, you can you know add this uh, you know support to your browser and then you can work with that and you have cluster so we're gonna you know start with what best suits us and before that you know i'm gonna show you the documentation section as well so this is the documentation section all right to begin with we're gonna go to this ips fs desktop and then we say ipfs desktop and this is gonna take you to you know the github where you can find the resources which is gonna help you you know install that right Now, if you go to this particular website, uh, this is a Git repository. So if you go to this Git repository, you're gonna get a link to install IPFS for Windows. So, you know, you have uh, exe file being downloaded over here. And now, you know, let's install that. And, you know, work with IPFS with this setup. Let's install that. So it, it pops up a wizard over here. You just have to, you know, give the path and say install. So this is a pretty easy job, right? So uh, there's a, you know, Windows EXE installer. You just have to install IPFS for your desktop. <clears throat> now the uh, installation is complete and I'm gonna you know, open that IPFS interface. All right, so 
so I'm gonna restart the service in case if it is stopped it says it is running now you know you can have <clears throat> an option to restart stop multiple other options right <clears throat> so I'm gonna go to you know uh, IPFS interface so this is a browser compatible interface now you can see your node is connected to 41 peers right now you can uh, all right I mean it is just asking me to update <clears throat> to the latest version and I'll do that later for now for now you know you have option to you know choose files peers and the status all right so sometimes you know the service gets stopped you might have to restart that <coughs> So now this is the interface. I'm gonna go to you know uh, quickly go to file section. All right. So uh, you can check for the you know uh, documentation over here, but I'm gonna go to file section quickly. All right. You have a section called import over here. You can import files folders. All right. So I'm gonna choose you know, a file to upload. All right, so I'm gonna choose the file to upload. So I have a bunch of files over here. I'm gonna choose one among them to upload. We just have to click upload and then it gets uploaded to your IPFS. So remember, interplanetary file system is a decentralized thing. So now it says uh, this file can be previewed. Probably preview section is still you know, yet to be you know, updated. So uh, you can still download and you know uh, view the file. Now you have a bunch of other options. You can delete the file, rename the file, download file, pin the file, copy CID. CID is again a unique identifier. So you can you know choose whatever operation you want to perform right so these are the other options you have <clears throat> so now you have CID CID is again a unique identifier in form of multi hash uh, if you look at you know uh, the data uh, it is kind of you know uh, a JSON object which gives you more detail about it <clears throat> so you have some metadata over here to look into and probably you know you can hit the CID and search for the file all right so I'm gonna you know um, upload more files <clears throat> just to see how it works all right <clears throat> so now I have two files over here uploaded you can you know <clears throat> i'm not sure about the limit you know of uh, this permits but uh, as of now i'm able to upload you know, a couple of files over here you can go to settings section you can change the language and you have a bunch of other configurations that you can change you know look at this you have huge configurations that you can 